Wildlife biology is often a lot like trying to solve a mystery. And following that mystery can lead to some very precarious situations. Can you see the nest? Arizona game and fish biologists Kyle McCarty and Kenneth Jacobson are leading this research team to help unlock some of the secrets surrounding Arizona's other eagle. Golden eagles are, are uh, a species that uh, have, have not been studied quite as much as balds. Uh, it, it makes sense for that to be the case. Uh, bald eagles were, were listed as endangered. They were uh, down to only a, a four or five hundred breeding, known breeding areas in the continental U.S. Uh, golden eagles have never reached those low levels. Uh, however, there is some concern over, over uh, what their population status is because they haven't been studied across their range. For this part of the study, Kyle will rappel into the cliffside home of a breeding pair of golden eagles where two nestlings are waiting. Okay, I'm in space from here. Once safely in the nest, he'll place a hood over each bird's head to calm them down and booties over their sharp talons. At eight weeks of age, they are too young to fly, but in case they decide to try, two members of the team are stationed on the ground just below the nest. Just in case that, that happens on us, we make sure we pick cliffs that are relatively low from the nest to the ground below, so that if they do jump, they've got not a terribly long way to glide to the ground. They'll have enough feathers that they won't fall like a rock, but they, they'll glide to the ground and you don't want them to uh, go too far, just to help make sure that they don't injure themselves. Once the nestlings are secured inside a specially designed bag, they are raised up to the waiting biologists. they will place identification bands on their legs that the birds will wear for the rest of their lives. They also take measurements and collect as much information as they can about each bird. 2.3 kilograms, which is almost exactly five pounds. That's definitely a boy. <laughs> These young eagles are also being fitted with satellite transmitters, which will provide researchers a glimpse into the lives of golden eagles they've never had before. It's part of a larger project funded by the Fish and Wildlife Service where we're putting on transmitters along with multiple other partners to uh, get transmitters deployed across the Golden Eagles range. And then from there, we'll be able to track them, figure out their survivalship rates, and when there is a mortality, be able to respond to it quickly, grab those nestlings, get them sent off for a necropsy, and hopefully find the cause of death and, uh, and at that point, maybe find a solution so it doesn't happen in the future. Golden eagles are the largest raptor in North America, with a wingspan of seven feet and weighing an average of 13 pounds. They can easily carry the small, lightweight transmitter without it affecting their ability to live a normal life. And with its built-in solar panel, data could be collected for up to 10 years. A lot of information that we'll get out of this. First of all, uh, survivorship, uh, mortality causes, uh, that's the first thing. But but in the process, we're also getting uh, regular updates, GPS locations on these birds. So we learn about a lot about their movements, seasonal variations in their movements, uh, where they migrate to, uh, where they congregate and hang out. All of that information will be very, very important for identifying uh, areas of, of high importance to, to golden eagles. Golden eagles often build their nests on cliffs in out-of-the-way mountains and canyons where prey is abundant. While the eagles are out of the nest, Kyle has the opportunity to learn more about how it's constructed and what the eagles have been feeding on. There was a lot of food in the nest. Uh, they've been eating primarily jackrabbits. At least that's all that we could find remains uh, in the nest. A lot of shade, so that'll help them out as, as summer starts to pro progress and, and the days get hotter. But uh, all in all, everything looked real, real good here. While bald eagles get most of the public's attention, after all, it's hard to compete with the national symbol, 
Golden eagles have a status all their own. They are top-notch aerial hunters, and mated pairs can maintain a territory as large as 60 square miles. Bald and golden eagles are, are uh, uh, completely different beasts. Uh, they, they live in different habitats. They react in, uh, very differently from, from each other. Bald eagles, adults, would be flying around yelling at us this whole, through this whole process. The golden eagles probably saw us when we were half a mile out, left the area and, and watching us from a very long distance, if at all, uh, waiting for us to leave and come back to the nest. Golden eagles are a much more secretive species. Scoop my back a little bit. See that pocket that he's in? It takes the biologists about an hour to complete their work. Then the eagles are lowered back into the nest. Once the young birds are secure, Kyle begins the long climb back to the top. The nestlings will fledge in the next few weeks and live out their lives without ever knowing that they are helping researchers unlock some of the secrets to their survival.